Why, oh why, oh why, our beloveds? What does this mean, the why? The why is a question. Why are you here? Why did this happen? Why can't I have what I want? Why aren't you here with me? Why? When? When will it happen? <coughs> when did it happen? When did you see it? When did you know it? When did you receive it? When? What if? What if it didn't happen? What if I didn't know? What if I didn't have to choose? What if? And then, then that means that I must go. Then this is over. Then you must leave. Then it is all good. Why? When? What if? Then? What messages can you find for you in these questions? When you ask a question, do you expect an answer? Or is it merely just to ask the question so it's floating out there in the ether so it can find you maybe? What happens when your request or when your answer comes to find you? Do you recognize it? Do you want it? <clears throat> Do you receive it well, or do you push it away? When you ask us questions, the answer arrives, but many don't know to look for it because you have not been taught to seek the ephemeral, only the physical, the reality-based aspects of life. But what if your thoughts could transmute future predictions? What if your thoughts and beliefs and intentions <coughs> could bring about change? How would you speak then? What would you speak? When would you speak? And how would you expect it to play out? Would you try to control what it looks like or how it presents? Or would you trust that the universe is bringing about exactly that which is needed or required in this very moment to bring about the next moment, and the next, and the next. If you could see the number of angels out there synchronizing every facet of your life to bring about exactly those experiences which are here to teach you and only you what you need while synchronizing everybody else's lives too you would realize that this is just a big looping program where you continue on the spiral of life to repeat and regurgitate those same moments in different form in order to test your resolve and your understanding of your purpose this time within this body. 
You're beginning to understand how the universe works. And if we're honest, many of you don't like it. You want more control over what your experience looks like. <clears throat> you want more control over what the outcome is. And yet, when we offer you all what you desire, you choose not to grow. Because your desire is the path of least resistance. <clears throat> And our goal is to simply catalyze change. And so our expectations and our wishes and our desires and our ways are at odds with one another. And when we tell you that you know not what is best for you because you came up with nuclear fusion in an effort to kill masses. You will need to trust us when we say we know best. We know best what will keep you alive for humanity's sake. And we are teaching you now how your imbalance with humanity its ecosystem and its drive came to teach you to humble yourself, to let go of the reins, <clears throat> and to bring about a different nirvana than any of you would ever choose because it is at such a frequency that you cannot fathom its experience because its octaves are so incredibly high that you can't hear them, you can't see them, you can't even feel them, let alone experience them. But when you get there, when you get to the pinnacle of where you're going, you will finally understand why you came and who you really are in energetic form. Trust the process and enjoy the cooking show because the kitchen is about to get quite hot, but the creations that will come out of this next phase will be so amazing that you will speak about it for truly generations and generations because this is when humanity is finally going to see who it is behind the shield, the face guard, the masks. You will finally see energy in a whole new way and you will see the demons and the darkness within which you have lived because it will express itself in a way that you can no longer hide from. And this is not intended to frighten you or to protect you even. It is just merely to state what is coming, what it will feel like in the short term, and what it will produce in the long term. You cannot come home until you finally express your shadow side to the fullest. And it doesn't look pleasant. It doesn't look pretty. It is not whitewashed. And it is hard to bear at times. But once the mask is pulled off and you all feel comfortable being your truest selves, you will begin to see that even the demons and the gremlins within you are worthy of being loved. And you will tenderly resolve to find a different way 
of being because you will finally be accepted exactly as you are and for who you are. And therein lies the contrast. The darkest within you have the greatest love to give because it is all about contrast. And what you are expressing is the exact resistance of who you really are and what you really seek, which is safety, love, and compatibility with one another. It is the resistance which has created these experiences. And when the resistance is no more, and there is just acceptance of who you are, finding beauty in your differences, you will see what man came to experience. And it is miraculous. Finding love within the darkness is all that this has ever been about. And you're about to be learned or schooled in what love really looks like. And it's not at all what you think. So find peace in these moments and express yourself from a place of gratitude because gratitude changes your heart's vibration and calls in or brings in very different experiences. And so it is. Namaste.